Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I mix the vocal mode track 30. Now I get a lot of questions, people asking me, Hey Cole, how did you go about mixing the demo tracks? Can you show us your vocal mix chain? And I'm going to do just that. So without further ado, let me play you guys the track. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, trying to make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit hot like Cupid. Turn the air out, my bro, you're deluded. I'm certain you don't wanna get booted. Or me, bro, boy, you stupid. Hope out that dark, he's clueless. I'm choosing, can I get my stupid? Why does a wood boy love give verbal when Olympics? When I saw man hurt, I see your up that's corn dispersal. But Alright, that's all I'm gonna play for now. Alright, without further ado, let's break down this whole track, okay? So if we go to the mixer itself, oops, if you open up the mixer a bit larger. It's, I keep everything simple, you know, I have the beat, the vocal bus, which essentially houses these individual tracks. So essentially, what I like to do, I like to keep, I like to have some sort of color coordination. So everything that is blue are individual tracks that is going to be rooted into something I call the bus. You get it? So these tracks here are rooted into the bus, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about. Or if you don't know what the vocal bus is. Okay, it's basically a group. All right, so the lead vocals, the vocal dubs and ad libs. Uh, let's start off just with the lead vocals to begin with, right? So if I just solo that, and then play it from here. Back with the rudeness, ruthless, trying to make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit heart like Cupid. Turn the air out, my bro, you're deluded. So let me mute all the vocal, uh, all the effects, right, for now. Then after we can kind of work back forward. Okay. So I'm going to just disable all these ones here and set the tape stop. Okay, let's play it. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, trying to make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit heart like Cupid. Turn the air out, my bro, you're deluded. I'm certain you don't want to get booted. All right, so the first thing I added, of course, was a compressor and a gate. This, because if you actually look at the vocal itself, you see this is kind of tiny. So, of course, it definitely needed um, compressing. And then I added the gates just to kind of, instead of me going manually going into the, in, into the, into the vocal recording and cutting out every single breath and unnecessary noise, I just added this gate here and these are the settings here after that i added if you listen to how it sounds like now with the gate oh shit man's back with the rudeness ruthless trying to make man toothless without it oh shit man's back with the you can see it kind of attenuates the volume in amplitude oh shit man's back with the, the next thing i added was some eq this is the r eq4 i like adding this one it has a nice flavor to it you can use any type of eq but essentially what i did first you can view if you're noticing the chain Compression out of the gate as well, and then EQ. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness, ruthless, trying to make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit heart like Cupid. Turn the air out, my bro, you're deluded. I'm. So I did this EQ here so that when I feed it into the vocal bus, the vocal bus is gonna be adding a lot more compression. So that way, I actually the signal going into the compressor is EQ. Is is um, I added some EQ before the compression being taking place. Otherwise, if I didn't add this EQ. All this low end will also be compressed also with the vocal bus and I didn't really want that type of sound, okay? So I added this, low, uh, attenuated some of the low end here, um, increased it just a bit of the highs to get some of that fresh sound there and it sounds like this. Let's play it from a different part. Rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like Kilo. And you can kind of hear, you can kind of hear that it's starting to sound uh, much more clearer. Then I added a DSR because when you add, when you boost for certain frequencies, especially the high end, you can see things start to get a bit messy. So let's play with the DSL. To broach and I do it like Heath. Things you get pressy, things you get messy. Still step with telling my dogs like messy swing my ramp ball get chefy. You don't want to laugh or going to hit chesty. Yep, that's all that DS is doing. It's basically just a ten I didn't do go too that far down into the threshold um territory. Where where the first, I just went about where it's coming still right in. You don't want to DS too much. Then on the vocal dubs, added the same thing, C1 compressor and gate, then um so let's just solo the, um, the vocal dubs. Rehearsal. Journals. But that's none of my G's like Kilo. Still got... With it now? Rehearsal. Journals. With but the that's none of my G's compressor like and gate. Still got fly that way. Then I added the Ozone Imager 2. You know, you know what it is. Link in the description. You can get this plugin for free. Rehearsal. Journals. But that's none of my G's like Kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to a bro trying to do it like Heathrow. I like how it sounds because I also added this chorus effect as well. So now with the chorus effect, it sounds like this. It's just a basic chorus. So if we play it now. Rehearsal. Journals, but that's none of my G's like Kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like Heathrow. So it, it kind of you kind of you see here hear that combination between the imaging and the chorus and of the compression, of course. And then if you add that with the lead vocals, it sounds like this together. Rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like Kilo. 
Still got to fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like he throw. Things can get pressy, things can get messy. And I like that compressed sound that it has on the lead vocal. I'm not too sure if you can hear it, but there's definitely a highly compressed sound on the lead vocal. And I feel like that adds to the flavour of the actual track itself. And the ad-libs, of course, um, compression, the same thing. C1, compressor and gate. Added this throughout the whole track. And then EQ. This is the EQ I have added here. I think I'll just press right click, um, radio, and then kind of just extended it out like this. This is the type of typical EQ that I like for AdLibs. You can go in the description and go to my store, my website, and you can go and download this free AdLibs preset. Um, it's stock plug-in one. I think this one here, you won't, it won't include the C1 compressor, but of course, uh, you can also get that if you get the UK Drew Vocal preset back. So this is how the AdLibs sounds like if we just solo that. So this is no, wow. no effects. Now. Then with effects now. Yeah. This is the compressor first. Wait, wait. Now with the EQ. Wow. This is with the EQ now. now. Some delay now. Pancake too. So I added delay on I think it's a quarter note timing and added this fruity no not fruity this pancake two plugin which stereoizes it or makes the vocals pan from left to right just like this every one point every one and a half bars it'll pan from left to right and you can also play the mix level as you wish. All right, so that's essentially what I added on the individual tracks. I think once you see the plugins I've used, I think it'll be easier for you to make your own decisions on what you should do for your own mixing. Uh, at least if you know the basics and understand okay compressor eq those are the main things everything else is just ear candy and just um extra flavor and that you can add to make the enhance the vocals to make it a bit better like you can see adding some delay and of course delay and reverb and whatnot that that is also one of the things that you should always use in your arsenal uh, without further ado let's go to the vocal bus the vocal bus first thing i added so if we start slowly enabling everything let's start with the compressor let's play how let's see how everything sounds like with the beat with no vocal bus effects enabled. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my teeth like kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like he for things to get pressy, things to get messy. Still step with it, telling my dogs like messy, swing my rambo, get chefy. You don't want to laugh, I want to hit chest. Right, so the first thing is the R compressor. This is how the R compressor sounds like. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my teeth like kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like he for without it. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my teeth like kilo. Still got fly. I like this type of downward compression. I really prefer this type of sound because I like how it sounds. Okay, it sounds not. It doesn't sound suffocated in that sense, but it sounds compressed and it gives it a nice, nice flavor and nice tone. So this is the the settings: attack and release. Set it to however the vocal what the vocal requires at the end of the day. The first shoulder is just where the vocals are coming in and everything else is just dependent on the vocal itself because you can copy these settings and you can use it on your own vocal and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it really depends on the artist's voice and whatnot and how everything else sounds like. After that, I did the F6 uh, floating point EQ. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my... It's a dynamic EQ. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my teeth like kilo. I don't think if you should be able to start noticing now that even when I whenever I do my mixing, everything it follows some sort of a trend. Like the type of things you end up doing are similar. Of course, when it comes to mixing and mastering, you are an engineer and that requires problem solving. So you are attempting to solve a problem of trying to make the, the sound or the track or the record to sound as professional and as great as you can make it. And uh, that's the end of the day what you're doing. And as you continue mixing and mixing and mastering and whatnot, you see that, hey, over time you build up your own style of mixing and then you, you start to understand, okay, this type of EQ will work best. This is the thing I want to do. Uh, and uh, after a while, you see that you are repeating some of the things that you constantly do. And uh, that's why if you see, okay, the EQ is always going to be the same-ish. I mean, of course, it's on a per track basis. So it really depends. But what I'm trying to say is that yeah, when mixing and mastering, you see patterns. You, you start to see patterns and eventually you become faster at mixing and mastering because you, you start recognizing the patterns. Okay, I'm trying to solve this problem here. And then, okay, I've I've solved this before. Let me try and solve it on this particular track or record. And that's that there. All right, then I added this... Uh, native SSL native bus compressor. This proper compressed the vocals. 
Like this took compression to the next level. This because it's a bus compressor, right? Without it, you can hear that there's not much heavy compression, but with this now, there's heavy compression. So let's play it without it first, and then we'll play with it. Still write off statements that journals, but you can see that the dynamics are still intact. With it now, still got fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like he free. You get pressy things to get messy. So step with ten of my does like messy swing my rambo. Get I like how that sounds. And of course, after I decided that hey, this needs some EQ, and then I added this um, Fab Filter Pro Q, just kind of clean it up a bit on this lower side. Not really much, not even attenuating anything, but actually just a tad bit if you kind of go into this range of the three decibel range. But essentially, not much is really going on here. It's just to kind of clean up, just low end, and this is how it sounds like. You don't want to laugh, I'm going to hit chesty. Trying to make it fizz like Pepsi. Trying to spoil that sauce spaghetti. He can get clean, he can get techy. Pop out like Hayden or Jesse. And added some reverb. Uh, this is how the reverb sounds like. You don't want to laugh, I'm going to hit chesty. Trying to make it fizz like Pepsi. Trying to spoil. Yeah. You don't want to laugh, I'm going to hit chesty. Trying to make it fizz like Pepsi. Trying to spoil. Not much reverb there, it's just it's kind of background reverb. And then on the beat, I added this vitamin stereo to kind of spread out. Um, like I kind of. Just did this. You don't wanna laugh so if you still do that. About it. Essentially what I did, I kinda of, I think I kind of increased the lows and then increased some of the highs uh high bits there as well. Just a bit there. Apart from that, that's essentially the track there. And then let's move on to quickly to the master stage, how I got it to sound loud and ready for commercial release. This is what I did. So I go to the master track. Added this SSL native bus compressor again. It sounded really good, so I really like that. So this this how it sounds like with it now. Of course, here it's not as much the the compression is not much. Otherwise, it'll just kind of flatten or squeeze or brick the actual track. Then I added brace your ears because it's gonna get loud. But I added this L1 Ultra Maximizer. And it makes it sound loud. Listen. You don't wanna laugh, I'm going to hit chesty. Trying to make it fizz like Pepsi. Trying to spoil that sauce spaghetti. He can get clean, he can get techy. Pop out like Hayden or Jesse. Cut him to ten or commandments. But we still break bread like Jesus. Still got a last like supper. So we feel him recording that piece. And this is what made the track sound as, as it sounds like in the demo track or the demo mix. I added these, I was I almost added these other ones here as well. It was in eight elements and I use a V meter at that, at that stage as well. But um I didn't end up using that in the final track and this is essentially the track it didn't take that long to mix and record i think if you want to check out the vocal recording session link will be in the description you can check that out how i actually recorded it with the artist if you guys want more videos like this please let me know leave a like comment and subscribe and uh yeah let me play a bit of this track just a few more seconds of it and then we'll be out Stay in your box, you don't wanna end up like a That you is seem to be packed, beggar man, just pick up the Bible man. Ah shit, where's your vapor max? You don't wanna talk on gang. I know you can't handle beef. You have to your right hand. Bang, let's go back skirt. Chop down bricks in a band or two C feds, make sure I disperse. To the back door and it's sign like dirt, work, sign like re re work. Go down M like my rambles hurt. Gang, gang. Fuck with bro, get your head back burn. Trust it, don't mean like a jumpy. I don't wanna hear kick back, get bumpy. I can get tumpy, rip that spring that, do it like gully, do it like gully. Fit that C pagans, make sure that I rip that. I C pagans, make sure that I rip that. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed. Alright, code seven out.